Hello! Today I'm reading Maybe Something Beautiful with this beautiful cover. On the inside cover we have these very gray looking buildings, but they are followed by a very colorful page. This is the, the title again, Maybe Something Beautiful. And here's this character again. See that's the same character as the cover, which suggests that's a very important character. Here she is on the first page. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. So we learn that our main character is Mira, and she's an artist in this pretty gray town. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with sparkling eyes. There she is giving her art. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. Here she is giving out more art. And there is that beautiful smiling sun. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. You see that? He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. There he is looking at it. These pages are really fun because we get to flip the whole book. Then, just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam, pow, the shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Look at that. The magic of those paints. Who are you? Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. There are our artists. Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. Look at that really loud color. Which means it's very, very bright and very, very fun. I like that color a lot. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color. Punch and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others, everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. There, there's everyone painting. And those are some different kinds of dances that they listed. So they're painting, but they're also dancing and painting to a rhythm. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Look at that party. They're all having so much fun painting and dancing until the policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, then paused. May I paint with you? He asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush, and the music started again. Teachers and papas joined in, babies too. 
Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets. So did joy. Look at all that color and joy. So much of it. Get another fun page to turn the book. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. There we have all those people dancing down there. And up here we have our artists with the color following them. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big, sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. Look at that. Bringing together all of those colors. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. There's that beautiful bird. And we have more art on this page. And that's the ending. We end with that beautiful little bird and lots of possibility. Now, I want us to think about, was it just the color, the bright color of the art that brightened the neighborhood? Or was it something else? What do you think? And also, I want you to think about if you were part of Mira's beautiful neighborhood, what would you add to it? Would you paint a bird like Mira does at the end? Or maybe something from the cover? A butterfly, a sun, an umbrella, a flower, some houses, or something else entirely. I want you to think about what you would add and maybe add it to your own community. You can paint something, draw something, color something, and put it up somewhere in your house. And make sure it's very, very colorful and fun to look at. And you can invite your family to do the same thing. And you can build your little community to brighten up your whole house and add some color to it. So I encourage you to do that. I think this is a really inspiring story. I would say it's definitely something beautiful and it's something that you can do right at your home with your family. So. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you use your own power and magic in the form of art wherever you are. <laughs>